Okay. Okay. Please, you can start. And thank you for your presentation. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, our title is the newly discovered rock art sites in Jagalu region, Karnataka in southern India. Um, next slide. Okay, so uh, our presentation will go in this way. We have the introduction in which um, we introduce the rock art in India, its research status and the objective and the methods we use, and also to introduce at the same time the geography and the setting of the Jagalu region. And the second part is um, the main work, which is uh, about the rock art sites, the five sites, and we will have also a discussion part. And finally, is about uh, preservation condition and recommendation because um, the site is new and preservation also matters for. Uh, for the archaeological uh, record. So when you see um, the rock art research in India, uh, it is uh, finally found that there are different um, rock art sites, each uh, interconnected, uh, and thematically, um, they have animals, humans, and other geometric figures. Um, and a scenes of hunting scene, hunting gathering, and pastoral uh, lifestyles. And from these rock arts, uh, engraving is the most common. Um, that is the application of hammering on the rock surface is uh, considered as important in the Indian rock art. Next slide. So here comes in the mid uh, 19th century, we have for the first time the, the discovery of uh, rock art in 1856. And again in 1867, here comes the moment when um, um, a chapter for, for the archeological discovery by, by an archeologist that is, um, Archibald uh, discovered rock paintings near uh, Sohangiha in the Kamir, Kamir Range, uh, Mirzapir district. So we have research for over the last 150 years that, uh, that gave us many types of rock artists to be discovered and to be um, scientifically investigated. So our objective is, uh, as it is a new rock art site, our objective is to present uh, in, a, in an illustrative way and to put descriptions in the figures we have from the site. So to achieve this, we have used the sources like from the observations in the site, from a little interview of from the people from the local people, and also uh, literature comparisons for stylistical comparisons at some point, and also we have used some ethnographic data um, for our work. And the main task, however, is the preliminary uh, photographic documentation of the, of the figures, the scenes, the panel, and the setting in general. Uh, for the paintings, we have tried to use um, the D-stretch application that creates filter for the colors of, uh, of the panel and its, its figures um, executed. So Karnataka is the, the rock art region in which Jagalur is uh, in that. So the rock art site of Karnataka uh, in Southern India, um, which has been uh, studied previously um, by different researchers uh, from different aspects. Uh, and this area chronologically is identified to be um, late Stone Age from earlier starting from the late Stone Age up to the medieval periods. And it has 40 sites so far known and comprises petroglyphs, uh, pictographs in the form of uh, cup marks, geometric designs, and other figures too. And geometric designs are the most common and interesting ones in, uh, in this region. So this is Jagalur and when you see the setting, it's a plateau. Uh, over a nice, uh, it's semi-arid um, semi area, 
Uh, it has soils of black, known for black and uh, red soil. It has a rich mineral, and the plateau is good for farming, industry, and currently for uh, urban development. So in this setting of Jagalur, we have five sites um, newly discovered, which are the, the goal of ESA. Uh, so uh, Sima will, uh, will continue for the rest. Okay, thank you, Nagasi. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Rockart uh, Research in Karnataka. Uh, so many immense uh, uh, researchers, uh, they have uh, done work here, like uh, for which, say, uh, FB Fute, uh, Lumen, uh, DH uh, Garden, S. Yes, Sundara, F. R. Alchin, uh, B. Alchin, K. Padaya, S. Uh, Kolar, Kolakar, R. Mohan. What happened? Okay, um, so this is a little uh, um, missed presentation. Uh, so uh, we wanted to show the uh, exactly India, where is it? So it's escaped, I guess. Uh, so uh, here is the India, uh, South Asian part. And uh, next is Karnataka, rock, um, uh, rock art sites in the Karnataka. So, uh, here we get the uh, uh, pictographs, engravings, uh, bruising, cupils, uh, uh, pictographs, uh, uh, cupils, cup marks, everything. Uh, most of the um, middle um, middle of the Karnataka and uh, rock art sites of um, uh, Jaglu region. Uh, study areas are Aknuru, Donehali, Gogudu, uh, Kolkete. Uh, Kondukuri forest. Rockart uh, site one. It's uh, Akanuru. It's a uh, in um. It's in a hillock. It's uh, made of uh, totally made of uh, uh, sandstone, and it's uh, it's really beautiful to see and uh, go there. Um, and um, uh, and it's a uh, very um, useful. Uh, we can say for the rockart uh, um, kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, this um, uh, hillock is um, uh, located in uh, uh, near Aknuru, one kilometer away from the Aknuru. And main interestingly, uh, why we are saying it's a prehistoric Neolithic one, uh, because uh, uh, in Aknuru village we have found uh, ash mound. It's uh, uh, related to Neolithic, um, where there we uh, we have found uh, ceramic uh, shreds, stone tools, ring stone and uh, found some uh, stone slabs with the uh, uh, cup marks uh, is located and um, oh. yes um yeah so we consider this uh, a neolithic but uh, uh, apart from neolithic um uh, there are so many uh, rock arts overlapped through the ages we can say up to the historic period we can found we can uh, find uh, um, rock arts there and this is the uh, pictures of uh, uh, this is the one bull and this is also a bull but it's not in a clear form and this is the cup marks we can say um, there are uh, varieties of cup marks cup marks is like uh, we can say uh, it's it's classified in many groups on the on their uh, purposes um, purposeful use such as uh, preparation of paint especially uh, cultic um, cultic um, uh, practices like uh, magic uh, rituals uh, or uh, like uh, medicinal uh, pounding uh, medicines like uh, minerals and the plants pigment uh, pigment or uh, spices placement of uh, offering uh, including human bloods uh, blood sorry uh, and the, uh, this is the most interestingly uh, these cup marks and uh, uh, small, uh, uh, they say cupils, but it's a small cup marks. Uh, they depict uh, star constellation and um, some of the some of their uh, kind of map, like uh, depicting the topo uh, topologic uh, elements of uh, near nearby landscapes, geography, and um, some of the look like a board game uh, symbolism and. Uh, this is the footprint. Um, uh, they, there are so many footprint everywhere. Uh, like it's um, 
the first one is uh, um, it's a two um, it's joined to um, footprints so uh, elder ones and this a child one and this a continuous uh, shamanic kind of uh, um, uh, typology we can say and this is morphological figure human figure and um, uh, it's overlapped with the one more face uh, we can't uh, um, interpret what is this exactly and here this is these are the snakes are zigzag uh, shaped one and these are the uh, shamanized human figures of different typologies and uh, here we can see uh, some kind of uh, some kind of heart or uh, geometric uh, figures a human figure bull figure and this is a human figure this is this too and this is also uh, just a, a line uh, kind of human figure and this is a uh, totally miscellaneous uh, figures uh, in a boulders uh, they utilize total boulder to um, to display their uh, imaginations their creations and their uh, leisure time and oh i'm sorry okay from here my uh, colleague uh, narmin she is going to present uh, narmin please narmin narmin ma yes yes yeah Yes, thank you, Seema. I will give a short information. Uh, Hali. Um, Hali is located 10 kilometers on the uh, eastern side of Jaglar. Here is the large site is located one kilometer western side of local, uh, locality and locate very uh, close to Donehali government uh, high school and situated in agricultural land uh, the mm, here is the uh, we found like a ball uh, elephant uh, geometric design on the gran um, like granitoid boulder the geometric design are similar to um, other rock for example the elephants uh, in the site only we can see then uh, Gogutu site I want to give a short information also Gogutu is located eight kilometer uh, from Jagler uh, the rock art site is located in agricultural land here we find one human figure and a few geometric uh, patterns are related to kind of symbol and the last one uh, Kelagot uh, site. Kelagot is a village and in Jagler Tehsil of um, like uh, discreet in Karnataka. Uh, it's situated um, <clears throat> six kilometers away uh, from subdiscreet uh, headquarters Jagler. Here we find a lot of cup marks like a um, um, shape of small soap ball. Most importantly, there are more than 200 cup marks and uh, situated around the Calcutta, uh, around the Calcutta Lake as well, inside the lake um, on granite hooch, flat boulders, uh, in an, um, like, uh, some patterns. It looks like two, um, tool manufacturing industry and it's similar to Aknuru rock art cap marks. Uh, all the Jagler rain sites were can be um, traced back uh, to the Neolithic. We can to the uh, present day. Uh, thank you, Sima. It's my short information and uh, Nagasi will continue. Okay, thank you, Narmin. Uh, Negasi, do you want to continue? Or shall I continue this? You can continue, Sima. I will just... Yes, thank you, Negasi. And this is the last site. Uh, it's a uh, very important, and um, it's um, it's really new for me, actually. Uh, it's a Kondukuri uh, uh, wildlife. Uh, it's in a uh, Kondukuri wildlife forest. And it's a cave site, and we have found uh, uh, paintings in a white color. And most of the paintings, 
are uh, related to a uh, historic period uh, but uh, some of the uh, this one this bull is uh, uh, almost uh, uh, resembles neo neolithic uh, 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 kind of bull figure uh, like uh, what we found in um, Aknuru uh, and uh, Donehali, the, the same kind of uh, um, bull figure. And there are uh, um, anthropomorphic figure. And uh, and this is the uh, the man uh, riding on a horse with a sword. It's like a, a war kind of scene. So that's why we are uh, interpreting it's a historic one. And there are so many um, horse, uh, horse riding uh, warriors kind of uh, uh, paintings and this um, uh, anthropomorphic one, this uh, flowers. Uh, there are so many. It's totally overlapped. Uh, this is the unique style of uh, this area. Everything is overlapped through the ages. Uh, we need uh, we need to very carefully, scientifically analyze to um, uh, to interpret these sites. And we uh, use this uh, distressed uh, filtering uh, for the paintings. Uh, this is the uh, anthropomorphic uh, uh, figure. And uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, Negasi, uh, uh, my colleague Negasi is going to take, uh, take over from here. Negasi, please. Thank you, Sima. <clears throat> So um, the rock art, uh, the region, the Jagalu region, it has uh, 50 panels uh, so far identified with a total of 104 figures. So in terms of diversity and themes, uh, it contains uh, humans, animals, footprints, geometrics, and other uh, non-recognizable features, uh, figures, sorry. Uh, and most importantly, uh, there is a superimposition, for example, there are white ones which are uh, superimposed over the black colors. And the superimposed ones are also fresher than the underlay, the, those underlaid, uh, perhaps to indicate that the superimposed ones, um, the superimposing happens very late in time. And with regards to the chronology, uh, we have, of course, cultural evidence of uh, Karnataka um, is from the Neolithic period. According to the current for 14 dating, we have uh, datings for the sites there, but for the Jagalur, um, it starts, the earliest date uh, is uh, 1900 CE. So Jagalur as part of this area, um, as I mean the rock art as part of this area could be perhaps be dated to this period, but uh, absolute dating of is only required in the future by maybe archaeometry, uh, taking the samples from the paintings uh, uh, Sima was mentioning. Um, our next slide. Um, so the preservation is very important because it's a new site. Uh, an urgent preservation measure is uh, required. So the rock arts being new findings are uh, at a very bad rate of uh, deterioration due to the especially natural agents of the physical and chemical weathering and even other anthropogenic uh, factors. So many figures are faded because of this uh, and the rocks, many rocks are exfoliated, which makes uh, interpretation and documentation uh, challenging. So in some also, um, as I say, there are anthropogenic effects like graffiti and scratching on the figures, uh, which is um, which is bad for the preservation. And as a recommendation, um, documentation is a prior task. And uh, by documentation, we mean a digital documentation of, um, of every uh, figure or if every motif is required. This, only, uh, this documentation only rescues the, these arts and it's better to make the area accessible and comprehensive database of the whole uh, rock art in Jagalur is required and even to educate the, the, the public about the significance of the rock art and also to maintain the environment because it's part of the environment, it's part of the landscape and uh, to retain both for environmental management and for the long life of uh, the hillside. 
or the, the area in general. So this is um, uh, the recommendation uh, we have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Negazi, Sima, and Nahmin.